Hello, Eon here and welcome back to Building LibreFlip. Today I will work on building the book holder. The base plate is already ready and prepared, but these other six parts, four of these and two of these, are not yet cut. So let's cut these. Let's look at the dimensions. 214.6 by 300. And there is a 45 degree bevel and there is a round on here. <laughs> Okay, this is the prepared stock and I need to cut two rectangles, one of each of these with a size of 300 by 215. The grain runs in this direction and the grain runs in this direction. And the first cut is the 300, so let's set this up. The next step is to cut the other measurement, which in the drawing says 214.6. This is not critical to get right. I will cut 215 and assume that I'll shave a bit off with the round over mill bit. The next step is to cut these brackets. We need four of these. There is the stock, four pieces and we will use the mitre jig to cut them. Our stock has a size of 148 by 156. This is the longer dimension and we need to keep the 7 mm groove that we cut in the lower book holder part before the mitre starts here. So let's mark these 7 mm groove first. Marking gauge, one of my favorite tools ever. And this is the lower book holder. The book will sit like so on here, and these will sit in these slots. So let's see if what I marked is actually correct. Looks good, looks good enough. Yes, great, so we can work with that. So let's see how we're gonna cut these. So I want the 45 to start only after what I marked here. This is not how it was planned. I thought we can use the mitre gauge, but as soon as I started to think how I'm going to put this on here, I found out that if I put it where I would need it, about here, so this is 7 millimeter over, the same depth, then I absolutely don't have enough stability in this direction, so this can't work. I need to find a better solution. So this is my trusty crosscut sled. Let's see what we can do with this. Somehow I still need to fix my square to the crosscut fence, and I found this block of wood that seems to do the job just right. And the plan is to clamp this against here and with a bit of down pressure on here and then this thing is hopefully a reliable fence. Actually it would be better if my angle, if my triangle is on the other side so the good part is not inhibited to move away from the blade after the cut. Ah, oh, this doesn't work. Because this way I would cut in the square. Okay, it has to be this way. We cut them roughly to size. Here they are. And now we need to drill the holes for the fastening mechanism. And let's look at the dimensions over here. It's 25 and 32. So I've set up the marking gauge to the 25. So let's align this stack and then clamp it together on this edge for drilling. So this is 
there is a 45 degree bevel and there is a round on here. I don't have the right bit, but if I just use this part, this lower part of this bit, I think I'm all right with the radius that I want. Let's set up the router for the next cuts. Today I will fix the mishaps of the last session and assemble the book holder. Let me show you what went wrong. In the last session, off camera, I sanded these edges to get rid of some of the saw marks. And while I did that, I produced a nice bow in here. It touches at the very top and at the very bottom, and in between there is still a bit of a slit left over. This is a result from sanding away the saw marks without taking care of this measure as well. And I want to fix this by cutting off a bit along this line and then recutting the vertical here. But there is also something else I want to fix. The plans call for that these edges line up. And after I saw this in reality, I don't like this anymore because it makes the design more complicated. And if there would be a bit of a space in here. You would need less precision to build the machine to a fine looking standard and I think it would look overall better and is easier to make. So I will fix the bow in here by cutting off a bit here and then recutting the vertical here so it fits nicely in the groove. Like the last time I built a small jig to position the parts for an accurate and repeatable cut. I quickly sanded away the saw marks. I will now mark the screw holes to attach this piece and the brackets we just cut. I have set the compass to a totally random and arbitrary amount that just makes sure that the screws don't go through the edges. Let's assemble the book holder. With the book holder, it's important that these brackets are not out of alignment. So I have mounted a block of wood here to push against the lower book holder and both brackets on both sides. And with this setup, I can comfortably screw on the sheet of wood without the fear that I misalign the brackets. We need two pieces of M8 threaded rod and the length of these are 238 millimeters. Let's assemble the fastening mechanism. This side is the front side of the book scanner. Here is the back side with the drivetrain. The rod goes through from the front. And now I'll put on a nut and a washer. And this I'll push through the other hole now, where I put on also a washer and a nut. Let's adjust this so that there is about two millimeters of the rod sticking out of the nut. And then tighten the nut, but only on this side. This is the back side. The front side is the loose side where I can fix the book holder in its position with this wing nut. The book holder is now finished. It works like this. You can adjust the width of the book holder according to the thickness of your book. And as soon as you found the correct setting, fix the book holder in its position with these screws. Thanks for watching.